discuss that a little bit later. So I'd like to officially welcome everybody to the webinar and just tell you a little bit about what we're going to be covering today. So in part one of the webinar, we're going to cover what practical qualifications and equipment you will need and also some of the platforms and software and websites that you can use. And then in part two, how ETFL Online can help you get started teaching English online. So stick around till the end because we're going to give you a very special bonus that's only available to attendees of this webinar. And then we'll have a little Q&A session at the end as well where you can ask Rachel or I any questions that you may have. So before we go, let's say everybody. So we're going to start now. Let's turn off your phones, log out of Facebook, get rid of all those distractions. I'm just making sure that I'm also logged out of all these things. Yes, me too. Because we're going to need your full attention for this presentation. All right. Before we continue, though, we're going to walk you through every step. We'll get you qualified, we'll get you a professional CV, we'll give you the resources, we'll give you the support, we'll give you everything that you need to get that uh, first job. But in the end, it's down to you. Like with any profession, you have to work at it. This is not a make money online scheme and it's not for everybody. All right. So some of you will make a great success from this opportunity and others won't. But we're willing yeah, to show you on this webinar how to do it. All right. So let's start. Introductions. My name is Jody van der Westhuizen. I'm originally from a small town in South Africa called Jeffreys Bay. I did an online TEFL course in 2006, and I've been working and living in Spain as a teacher ever since. So a few years ago, I started working with Cambridge English and specializing in their exams. And then about two years ago, I founded eTEFL Online, uh, mostly because most TEFL course providers give you their clients a link to a job club when they graduate and then they're on their own. And that's how I started. I was helping to sell TEFL courses to people and I found so many questions coming in. So I decided, well, why don't I go and find everything that you need and put it all together in one package and then create my own online business. So with eTEFL Online, we put together all the pieces of the puzzle for you into one package so that you can focus on your training and teaching English online. You don't have to worry about anything else. I'm going to do the introductions for Rachel, since she is uh, incommunicado at the moment. Oh, there she's back. How's that? Uh, very similar. It sounds like somebody sawing wood in the background. Oh. oh. Very odd, because I am in a very quiet room. So this actually is probably a learning experience for people who want to teach English online. Yes, this, ha this will happen to you while you're teaching English online, at least once in your career. There will okay. be tech issues. Okay, Chris, well, Rachel, you're here, so you can do your own introduction. Hi, okay, Rachel. So, hi, everybody. Um, my name is Rachel, and um, I'm an Aussie. I'm currently living in Portugal. Um, I'm house city. Um, I'm with my partner, Chris, and I'm actually an ESL recruiting consultant. I write resumes uh, and help people get jobs all over the world and online. At the beginning of the year, we sold everything and moved to Malaysia to start. Then we went to the UK and now we're in Portugal. And we love what we do. Um, we want to give other people the opportunity to do that. And uh, we think that being an ESL teacher online is the perfect opportunity for anyone to be able to quit their day job and start working from home, um, whether that's home where they are now or traveling abroad. All right. I also included some slides here for all the people to look at. So the first slide, yeah. was this your, your spot in Wales? Yeah, so that's us in Wales. Uh, we were there for three months, free accommodation, uh, free use of the car, free electricity, uh, Wi-Fi, everything. It was beautiful. We had such a great time there. Yeah. Now, I'd like to, just before we continue, uh, Rachel and I have discussed this in the past many times about what the term digital nomad means. And to some people, like Rachel and Chris, it's traveling the world, changing places every three months, which sounds incredible. I'd love to do it. And for other people, it's staying at home. It's just having that freedom yeah, to choose when you want to, to work and how you want to, uh, to live your life and whether you want to do something at one time or another time. All right. So for you, it may be working at home working from home, or maybe it's just to save up money, or maybe it's part-time, maybe it's full-time. That's the great thing about teaching English online is that you have a multitude of options and a different ways of approaching it. And that's now right. the, second, the second photo frame over here, this is Portugal now. Yeah, that's right. So this is our place in Portugal. 
uh, you can see we're actually living in a place that is run as a yoga retreat. And usually people pay uh, about a thousand pounds a week to stay here, and we're staying here for free. <laughs> so, nice. we're, yeah, we're pretty lucky. So, we've got four dogs, three cats, six chooks, a rooster, two goats, and a donkey to look after. Exactly. Well, you've got to need the donkey. The donkey yeah. makes you come. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so, so, like Jody yeah. said, we, we like to travel, but, uh, you know, before we left Australia, we were actually working online at home for 18 months. So, you don't have to travel. It just gives you the freedom to go visit your friends in the next city or, you know, take a holiday and take your work with you. Yeah. All right. So this is what, what can be you know, an option for you, if you'd like. So we just wanted to introduce Rachel and show her lifestyle. I also work from home, but I have three small kids. So I am basically home-based, but working from home. So that depends on up to you, all right? Whatever you'd like to do. All right. Should we get cracking? Let's hit, just jump into part one. All right. So first of all, what is teaching English online? And is there a market for it? So teaching English online is teaching English to a non-native English speaker over the internet through the use of a computer and a webcam. Students can learn one-on-one -on -one or in small groups, and the cost is usually relatively cheaper. And also, both students and the teachers are able to set their own times and schedules, and the teacher can teach from whatever location is convenient them, whether it be their home or Portugal or Wales. All right, uh, over the last year, we've seen massive growth in the online teaching market. In 2010, for example, the e-learning industry was worth 32 billion. And only five years later, it had more than tripled to 107 billion. And the projection of the next, well, let's see, 2025, seven years, or it's almost the end of the year now, so six years, is to project is projected to be around 325 million. So let's say like every eight years, it triples in size. And uh, when I say e-learning industry, I mean people studying online, not just English, but all the subjects, you know, anything they want to learn. All right? I read another statistic. I haven't got it on the slide yet, but I just read it the other day that China, the, the biggest market for online teaching, uh, only about 30% of their students actually do online classes, uh, apart from their regular classes. Whereas in Japan and South Korea, their neighbors, uh, it's more like 70%. Uh, so it, that kind of that area, uh, the Far East, they have put a huge premium on education. And there's still a lot of growth left in China as well. So only 30% of the people that are, that are studying, that are students, take extra classes online. So they can at least double that to meet their, their, their neighbors at that level as well. So there's even more room for growth, I think. So you can work from anywhere in the world. And of course, you can earn US dollars anywhere in the world, which as a digital nomad, Rachel can tell you, would be very, very handy. Uh, let's move on to the next one. You can teach English online. So contrary to what many people believe, you don't need a teaching degree. If you're TEFL certified and a fluent English speaker, then you can teach English online. This is what Ray mentioned earlier in the comments. I'm going to stop here just to clarify this a little bit. The beginning of December this month, uh, the Chinese Ministry of Education made it compulsory for all online English teachers that work for Chinese companies to have a TEFL or CELTA or something similar, TESOL certificate, okay? There, yeah, Rachel's done it, <laughs> all right? So in the past, some companies would hire you if, if you had a degree in any field, which is the next point, and sometimes the TEFL was optional. But now, from now on, especially from next year onwards, it's going to be compulsory for every teacher online to have a TEFL certification. I say TEFL because that is the easiest one to get for the average person, so that the average person can start working online. Uh, some companies will still require that you have a bachelor's degree in any field. It doesn't matter what the subject is. It doesn't have to be an education degree. But this varies from company to company, and it's not a necessity to take the TEFL course, and it's not a necessity to work online. So other traits that are often sought after include being personable and having great presentation skills. Some of the advantages to teaching English online. So you can teach online from anywhere in the world. You can work as few or as many hours as you please. You set your own schedule. You can gain experience in the field of online learning for your CV or generally in the field of teaching. You can teach online part-time to supplement your income or full-time. And you can also use this TEFL certification of yours to make a positive impact on people's lives and to make some money at the same time. So this is something that's really drawn me to this line of work in that 
there's something that you're doing that's changing the world for the better. It's not just selling something online over and over and over again to the same people, all right? It's, you're definitely making a difference in people's lives. So just to give you a quick overview of where these countries are, what, where the, the highest demand in the world is, uh, China would definitely be number one. And still, with I mean, still even halfway through their whole capacity where they could be, they're still number one. South Korea, Japan, Hong Kong, Vietnam. So you can see a lot in the Far East. Like I said, they put a huge premium on education. Somewhere in the Middle East as well, United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, Czech Republic, and then uh, the Latin-speaking countries, Spain, Colombia, Brazil, Chile, Argentina, and South America. It's a, a growing market as well. A lot of the companies, though, that you, that you might end up working for are Chinese companies. I mean, it's 99% chance that you would end up working for a Chinese company. So uh, let's look at some of the students, the online class sizes and session types. So typically, there are two different session types when you teach English online. So it'll be a one-on-one -on -one or private sessions and small groups. So anywhere from two to six students at a single time. I just wanted to show you as well. All right, so you can also talk general or conversational English. You can focus on business English or examination preparation. So most of these companies will provide you with all the materials that you need. You basically just walk your students through a series of slides, guiding their learning, encouraging them, and correcting any errors. I was speaking to a previous client the other day about this, and she's working for a company called the Say ABC, who are hiring right now, if you are interested, and um, pay very, very well. And uh, she was saying that the job is kind of more... I think the word teaching scares people off a bit. It's more tutoring English online. It's not like you are thinking when you were in school and the kids are not studying Shakespeare or anything like that. If you look at this next slide, for example, there is a, what is a typical teaching portal for one of these companies. This is just a sample, obviously, but some of them will be slightly different. So you'll have your, you'll enter into this uh, classroom a, f a few minutes before you have to log on. Uh, go through the slides that you need to go through. And uh, your students would log on then as well with you. And you've got all these different things you can look at. Like at the top there, yeah, they'll give you the instructions you as the teacher need to do. So ask your student to look at the picture and talk about it. Encourage the student to read and learn, emphasize things, ask questions. So you've got all the instructions in a step-by-step -step guide on exactly how to present this class and how to teach the subject. All right? And basically, you're just trying to get the students involved and encourage them to communicate with you. So, yeah, when there's the smaller kids, the classes are about 25 minutes long. So, you know, you, most people think you, you, when we talk about getting paid per hour that the classes are an hour, but they're not. The hourly rate, you've got to just watch out for that when you're applying for jobs, is different to what the actual class time is going to be, okay? So, 25-minute classes in general for the younger learners, up to about 45 or 50 minutes for the older classes, for the older students, all right? How many hours do you commit? So the beauty of teaching English online is that the hours you work and the schedule you set is completely up to you. So while some online teaching companies may require you to teach a specific number of hours, you can usually choose from teaching only a few hours per week to about 20 hours or even turn this into a full-time career with 40 or more hours. All right, so uh, usually the companies ask you to commit a... Uh, Rachel? You've got that yes. background noise. That background noise is <laughs> coming in again. Okay, sure. Hang on. Sorry about that. Um, so while, you, while some online teaching companies require you to teach a specific number of hours, you can usually choose your own. So they will choose, or well, they will tell you that, for example, you need between 7 and 10 hours minimum per week. So if you get, for example, I know Dada, when they hire, they require you to do 7 hours a week minimum. And then that's usually how you start. With most cases, you will start as on a part-time basis, and then you will work up and up and up. And if you want to make this a full-time career, of course. It's not common that your one company that you work for will give you all the hours you need to make this a full-time career. It's very common in this industry for many people to work for two, three, or even four companies at the same time to cover all the slots that they have open for that, and then to make the money that they require to cover their costs. Okay, so yeah, so can you imagine waking up when you decide to work it from your lounge or being at home when you get back from school, you know, being at home for your kids? I know this is my reason for working online. Some of you may be doing the same thing or maybe traveling the world while working online 
as a digital nomad. Just to give you a, I'd like to see, for example, who just wants the freedom to work from home? Is anybody there? You just uh, type it in the, in the chat box. Stick in an idea, yeah? All right. And who would like this because of family reasons? There we go. All right, so this, and traveling the world? Oh, Bridget's both. <laughs> yes, traveling the world is one as well. Yes. All right, so we all have our, I, want, I just wanted to do this to show you that we all have our different motivations, but it's the same vehicle to achieve whatever goal it is in your life that you want to achieve. If you want to uh, sit in your pajamas, you'd have to dress nicely from the waist up at least, all right? but you can have your pajama, you know, pajama bottoms on and sit on your couch and teach. This is not even a joke. Uh, this is literally how a lot of teachers teach. Uh, some people do it for their family and other people do it because they want to travel. Yeah, Lindy, that, Lindy wants to do it all. Work from home, family reasons, and then later travel. All right, so this is all available to you, especially if you're earning US dollars. Jocks and shit. Yes, Ray. Um, Ray's completely sidetracked me now. So how can someone work online? All right, so we've spoken about that. We've spoken about uh, that portal, that photo I've shown you, this one, all right, where you work for an established online school and they give you everything that you need. But that's not the only option, all right? So for many online English teaching companies, for you to consider when you're working online, but there's more than one way. So we look at three and then offer you a solution for each one in part two of the webinar. So we've got the employee, which is the one we've already looked at, the freelance, and the third option could be business owner. So employee, in this option, you interview for a position with an online teaching school, you get hired, you have a contract, and they pay you a fixed hourly wage once or twice a month, all right? Usually into a PayPal or an Alipay, which is the, the Chinese version of um, PayPal, or directly into your bank account. So it's up to you. Uh, the advantages are they provide you with the students, they provide you with the materials, the curriculum, the training to work their systems. Everything is provided for you. There's very little prep work as well that's involved in that. The disadvantages are the hourly wage can vary a lot. So you could earn anything from as little as $5 an hour or up to $20 an hour. You can't choose your students. Uh, so if, you, if they assign children to you and you don't want to teach children, well, you know, that's just the way it is. Uh, most require, well not most, but some require you to have a university degree. I still haven't changed that on the slide, but we'll get around to it. It's becoming more and more uh, common now for companies not to require a degree, I'm finding. But still, if you have a degree, that will give you an, an advantage over other applicants. So there are so many online teaching schools that you could consider when you're looking for work. At the moment, there are over 300 the last time I checked. Uh, some of them you can see on this list over here, VIP Kid. If you've done some research before joining this webinar, perhaps you've um, you've seen some of these names before. VIP Kid is a big one. Uh, Dada, uh, what's another one? Orange Talk is a big one. Panda ABC, Say ABC is the one I mentioned earlier. I put little asterisks next to them because I know that they are hiring and that they are that they pay well. So anything between fifteen and twenty dollars an hour, on average. Okay. So that's, that's the one option. Sylvia, do they employ South Africans? Yes, say ABC especially. So many South Africans have found work with, uh, yes, uh, yeah, with uh, say ABC. Uh, second comment there, there's a lot of schools require native only. Yes, if you're South African, you're considered native. Yeah, well, Sylvia's, Sylvia's mentioning as well. Let's go back. Like, for example, VIP Kid. I don't talk about them a lot because they only want American or Canadian people based in the, the, uh, the US or in Canada. So it's very, very limiting for who you can work with. They pay very, very well, up to like $30 an hour, but it's very limited to who can apply for them. All right. So let's move on to the second option, freelance. So in this option, you interview for a position with an online teaching platform that connects students with teachers. We'll talk about a few of them later. So advantages, you choose your own hourly wage, your students and your hours, you have more autonomy, or you work as much or whenever you want, and much easier than finding your own students, I'll tell you that much. Disadvantages, uh, competition between other teachers, uh, income is not guaranteed, and they charge you a commission of around 10 to 20%. So what this company kind of does, let's go to the next slide and actually have a look at these. 
So there are a few of these platforms and there are online schools, but some that come highly recommended, you may have heard of um, Tutomi or italki, Cambly, Verbling, Verbal Planet. Now a lot of these platforms host teachers on them. So teachers of English, teachers of cooking, teachers of everything, it doesn't really matter. It's whatever you want to learn online, you can go to some of these. Like italki, for example, does languages, but Tutomi does anything, all right? So you sign up for an account with this, you still have to go through an application process, but they don't hire you. Well, what they will do is that they will advertise and attract students. The students come onto the platform and they will look through the subjects and the teachers and choose the one that they want to do a class with. So that's why I'm saying your, your, your income is not guaranteed in that one because some months you may have students and other months you won't have students. But this is a good option to have if you want to specialize in something, perhaps you have experience in real estate in your professional career and you want to teach real estate English specifically, then this would be a good platform to do that on. I would advise that if you do decide to teach on this, that you don't just register yourself as general English because there's another thousand teachers that are doing that. With this kind of platform, rather focus on something and specialize in a certain area. Okay, let's move on. Third option you could do is a business owner. So in this option, you build your own online teaching business. You still have full control of every aspect of your day, including your students, your income, your methodology, and the income has the potential to be much, much higher. But then again, so is the risk. Is this, there's a risk in starting any business, online or brick and mortar. So advantages, total autonomy. Right? You are definitely your own boss. The possibility to scale. So this means growing your business to a point where you're talking about hundreds of dollars an hour instead of just 10 or $20 an hour. But the disadvantages are there's a very steep learning curve. You need to build a website, learn to advertise, to get students, create your own materials. So there's a lot of work that goes into it. And of course, there's a larger initial investment. Rona's asking a question. Oh, we've got lots of questions. OK, why don't we <laughs> let's have a look at these questions before we continue. Um, you need to teach your own material in the freelance arena. In the freelance, yes, you need to have your own material and curriculum. Right? It depends on your qualifications and your experience. So that depends. If you have a degree and you have a TEFL certification and you have teaching experience, I mean, they'll snap you up like that. Uh, you can also start with another company. There are some companies that, that are much, much liberal when they hire and then work your way up. You pay much less. But you could just start with someone like that and at least get the, the experience built up and then start applying for other jobs. So, okay, let's move on. So we've been speaking about this, so let's get down to the nitty gritty. How much can you earn? All right, so for example, if you work just three hours a day, five days a week at just $10 an hour, let's start at a minimum minimum, you can earn $600 a month part-time. There's the maths for you. If somebody wants to check my maths and uh, correct me, let me know. But as far as I know, that's correct. Uh, three hours a day is 15 hours uh, a week over a five-day week. At uh, 15 hours a week times 10, that's 150. On average, four weeks, that's 600 a month. So just on a part-time basis, working only three hours a day, $600 a month. Now, if we keep that same amount of hours in this simulation, and we just push it up to $20 an hour, then you can obviously double that at $1,200 a month. Most online teachers that I've uh, speak to on forums and on uh, Facebook groups and, and that, they average between one and a half to two thousand uh, dollars a month and some of them even more. And those are the, I mean, the one and a half thousand to two thousand dollars a month people are not working that many hours. They're working, I think you said 20 to 30 hours a week, whereas the average is 40. So you're working far fewer hours, but the salary is basically the same. And it gives you time, frees up time, to, uh, to do other things as well. So remember, though, that your hourly wage is not the only source of income you can have. A lot of people choose their company based on what the hourly wage is. So if we take a look at, say, ABC, for example, they pay $15 an hour. So you think, well, there's another one for 20 But say ABC pays you a lot of other bonuses. If we look at that second point, so many comp companies offer bonuses for completing a certain amount of hours or having no cancellations you know, calendar month or completing, you know, a set number of, of tasks or getting a certain rating from your students on a, on a, on a regular basis. So, that, I mean, there's so many more ways to earn. And I think 
uh, like pay and say ABC at the end of the you end up earning around twenty to twenty one dollars an hour because a lot of the times you have to do homeroom classes and which is just you know having big group classes and if you put yourself on standby and they hire you last minute or contract you last minute to teach a class you get an extra bonus on top of that so I don't want you to just look at the the hourly rate because there's so many more ways that you can add to that so many companies pay you now for open or unblocked booked slots as well so if you for example at the beginning of the month you get sent a spreadsheet and you say I want these hours on these days and you click on them and you book your slots now it is the company's job to fill those slots for you and if they can't fill them with students then they have to pay you for your time some companies will pay you your contracted rate other will pay you a fixed um, salary and others will pay you a percentage of what your hourly rate is it really varies from company to company so most companies also have referral programs where they pay you a commission if you recruit other teachers. I know Dada, for example, pays you $100. So if you have, they'll give you a link when you get signed up with a long string of code at the end of it. And somebody clicks on that link and they sign up. And if they get hired as a thank you, they will give you $100. So this is something as well that uh, I've done with ETF and online. So we've also introduced a referral program, and, but we'll talk about that in a little bit later. So this next slide, this is Dan Didio. He is an American who works for VIP Kid, and he is making $75,000 a year teaching English online. And I can tell you that it's not all from his hourly wage. There's referral fees in there. Uh, there's bonuses, all those things we were talking about earlier. And I'm not saying now that you can earn $75,000 a year. I'm just saying that this man has, and it shows you the potential uh, of making this a full-time career for yourself. So talking about full-time career and all that money, at some point you might have to pay taxes. So many online English teaching jobs categorize you as either an independent contractor or self-employed. This means that it is your responsibility to report your earnings as self-employed. All right. So one of the benefits though of teaching online, if you pay your taxes, is that the tax office will allow you to write off a portion of your home or apartment as a home office. I do the same thing as well. So a uh, section of my house is where my computer is, and you can write that off, the electricity, the heating, the internet, all of these things that you can deduct uh, from, the, from your expenses at the end of the month. Uh, webcam, microphone, any materials that you may need, any teaching supplies. So you can all put that through. But my recommendation is speak to an accountant. Find somebody in your country that deals with these things, because every country is different. It's even different from province to province. So I am not a... Uh, a guru regarding tax payments in any kind of way, shape, or form. So please look into this for, for yourself, okay? All right. What do you need to get started? So you'll need to do a four-week, 120-hour TEFL certification course, which we provide as well. So now that's mandatory uh, as of the beginning of this month. All right, so in the past it wasn't, we spoke about that earlier, but now it definitely is. So we offer three options as well, the standard online, the professional, and the complete. Now these are all packages that include a whole bunch of extras, and we'll go over them in a bit more detail later on. But I did want to bring Rachel in here for a second to speak about her experience with the TEFL certificate. All right, okay. because... Yes. Ah, she's back. <laughs> because we were... Um, doing a webinar, uh, no, sorry, a webinar, a blog series with Rachel, and she's been writing a series of blogs. She's been chronicling her, her journey, as it were. Uh, he has a, I'm actually going to go look at this, and in the meantime, Rachel, could you go over your experience so far? Absolutely. So, uh, Jody uh, was very kind in offering me the opportunity to do the TEFL course through eTEFL online and to uh, write a bit about my experiences. We um, advocate for people teaching English online, as I previously said, as we think it's a great way for people to be able to quit their day job. But I hadn't done the TEFL course myself, so we decided it would be a great idea if I could give it a go and see how easy it really is to get started. Uh, now, my partner Chris did the TEFL course a couple of years ago. He did it face to face uh, while he was working full time, and he had to, you know, try and organise work and travel and parking 
um, and you know all of those things. Whereas I guess one of the first things about e eTwoFull is that you can do it online. Um, so you can do it at your own pace uh, whenever you want. And so I am a procrastinator at heart and I had been unwell and I used that as a bit of an excuse not to get started even though I really wanted to get started. And uh, I sort of, you know, I thought about it and I was like, okay, I'm actually, I'm just going to do it. And I was prepared myself for, you know, all the issues that come with when you first start something, having to fill in a heap of details and then just being faced with a whole wall of information. Uh, I sat down and I was so surprised at how easy it was to get started. It was basically my name and email, put it in and there it was in front of me, uh, 12 uh, lessons that I could work through at my own pace and I did the first two uh, lessons uh, within that first session. I wanted to try and replicate what other people may uh, be faced with when they're trying to do the course. So I'm lucky in I'm already working from home but I know that a lot of people they have families, they work 40 hours a week they may only get spare time during their lunch break, maybe when they're on their way to work or you know on their way home and maybe in the evening. So I tried to replicate those um, I guess parameters and I was able to complete the course um, very easily. I was able to do um, the work on my phone. I was able to do assessments on my phone. I was able to sit down for an hour and work through uh, the different course or the subjects. Uh, so, you know, they, they build on each other so you're not faced with this immediate, oh no, this is too hard, I can't do this. And uh, I think it's made it more clear to me that if someone is really wanting to give up their day job, uh, that doing the ET for online course is something that they can do during their lunch break or you know when they have a spare 30 to 60 minutes I would recommend if you can find that in your day a couple times a week I think you'd be able to complete the course and get started working and earning money probably within maybe four weeks um, which is a really um, it's a clear path and it's, it's an easy to achieve goal because sometimes it can be hard to see uh, the outcomes. I know a lot of people have looked at what they can do to earn money from home and to quit their job and a lot of times it's going to cost a lot of money or you have to have a lot of skills, specific skills, whereas this course actually has made me feel confident enough that when I um, decide to start applying for jobs that, and I walk into a classroom, uh, well, a, bit, <laughs> a virtual a classroom, classroom. <laughs> <laughs> that I will feel confident to be able to, um, to teach the students. And I know a lot of people say, oh, but, you know, just because I can speak English doesn't really mean I can teach it. And I think the ET for course actually gives you the confidence that, um, you don't have to know everything, you just have to know where to look and to get support from you know, either the, the company you're working from or you know, any uh, textbooks that you purchase or resources that you can look for online. I wanted to ask you, Rachel, how did you find the grammar section? Yes, so the, obviously teaching grammar and past tenses and you know, all of those sorts of things is seems very scary, uh, but putting the, the actual course actually put a lot of it into, um, made it very clear to me that it's not as difficult as we make it think, make, make us think it is, and that there's a reason when we were at school our teachers had course curriculums and textbooks and that kind of thing on their desk because they didn't know it all and we're not going to know it all either.
Yeah, I can tell you after 13 years of teaching that I still don't know it all. And uh, <laughs> that, that grammar section in my online TEFL course in 2006, I still remember it to this day. My wife had to help me. I just had no idea. But eventually, eventually you get it. And it, yeah, it comes a lot of it comes from actually being in the classroom and then preparing your class beforehand. And then you see things that in the coursework and you go, oh, well, I don't know that. And then you look it up and you, you teach yeah. yourself along, along the way. You know, you don't have to know everything about English before you start teaching English. And I Not think that's, that's the thing is, you know, it can be daunting at the beginning, but even, you know, whatever your job you're doing now, you didn't walk in on the first day, even knowing half of probably or a quarter of what you know now. It's, it's an ongoing learning experience and that's what being a teacher is about. But I think the ET4 course actually gives you that foundation to build on. Yeah. No, you have to have a foundation, definitely, definitely. And even if you have a teaching degree, uh, the last webinar we were on, we were with uh, a previous client of mine who is studying teaching as a, as, as a degree, you know, as a profession. She's doing a four-year degree. And she said she learned stuff in the TEFL course that she's not learning in her. She's already in the third year of a four-year course that she has not learned in university. So they, it is going to teach you. It is a different approach to teaching English to people who already know English and you're teaching them poetry and, and these kind of things to teaching someone who has never spoken the language or never heard it before. Yeah, All right, well, we have some I, questions. Yeah, sorry, continue. I was just going to say that I have a training background and I have, you know, uh, been done courses and, you know, all those kinds of things. But during the ET for um, courses, I actually learned things that I wish that I had known when I was delivering, um, you know, training to um, adults because uh, it would have made my life much easier. Yeah. All right. We've got some lessons. We had some, sorry, some questions, but Marianne has already answered them. Thanks, Marianne. I just like to take this moment to say congratulations to Marianne, who, who is a previous client of mine, well, she's still a client of mine, and today made some more commissions. Congratulations. Marianne is killing it in the commissions department. All right, let's move on. So we talked about, the, we've just spoken about the, uh, the, the first thing you're going to need is that TEFL certification, all right? If you have another certification, that'll, be, that'll work fine as well. But the second thing you're going to need is the hardware, all right? So you're going to need a computer or a smartphone with an internet connection. A lot, there's some apps like Palfish is one, Cambly is another one, Oxfish. I don't know why they have these names. So that's not my thing. But they have an app on a smartphone and you can plug your phone, your headset into your phone and wherever you are in the world, just have a conversational English class with somebody. You just jump on to the platform, say, okay, I'm available now. And students see that notification and they jump on and click on you and you start having a conversation. So it could be really that easy as well. So a computer, laptop, or even your smartphone to get started. So an advantage of teaching English online is the fact that it's relatively easy. Startup costs are generally low, given that you already have the, some of this equipment. Most people have a computer or a laptop, and everybody has a smartphone nowadays. So uh, that's the, the startup costs are generally quite low. The essentials you'll need, hardware-wise, Laptop, desktop, as we spoke, with a recommended i5 processor or equivalent or higher. Uh, HD webcam. Now, I say HD, but I don't think anybody makes webcams that are not HD anymore. Uh, reliable high-speed internet connection, of course. Uh, 5 to 10 megabytes or even more, the higher the better. Uh, headset with noise-canceling mic. And get one of these before you start interviewing, before you have your first job interview. Rachel can do this as well. When you sit down for that job interview on Skype, make sure that you are that you are already in your own mind an online English teacher. That you just want to show them that you are ready to go. You're dressed appropriately. You've got your headset on with a microphone. The background is clear. There's not kids running around screaming and dogs barking. And that you are a professional who is there to do a job. So if you get a headset, get it before you start doing your your interviews. Uh, so, okay, we'll stop here just for one second because I see there's a lot of questions coming in here. Uh, sees what, uh, black South African who studied English? Yes. Yes, of course they do. Um, Ray Young, British accent, an advantage? I suppose on from company to company that might, uh, that might be an advantage in some companies. 
IQ Bar is another one that's based in the UK. So that one might be someone to look into. Uh, yeah, a lot of people are asking, yeah, Rona, the chances for black people generally. Better and better and better. In the beginning, to be frank with you, it was not, uh, it was a, quite a racist industry. And there were problems for black people to get, to get work on, especially in the Chinese schools. But that is not the case anymore. Some, some of them still, yes, are, are exclusive, but the majority now are hiring. It doesn't matter. It's your qualifications that they are looking at. So if you can ace that interview, which we can help you with, and have a great CV, which we can help you with, then you'll be able to get your foot in the door easily. All right. So software that you might need. Uh, Skype or Zoom, sometimes. Especially if you're working freelance, then yes, you'll need this. Zoom is similar to Skype, but it has many, many more features. A uh, whiteboard, you can have an interactive whiteboard, and you can put people into little groups. If you've got a group class, you can put them into pairs to work together, and they can just speak to each other and not interfere. So there's lots of extra things. It's, it's very commonly used by freelance English teachers. But if you work for a company, they'll have their own video teaching platform, like the one I showed you earlier in the previous slide. So you don't have to worry about that. And they will teach you and train you in exactly how to use it. It's quite intuitive. Nobody that I have spoken to or read any comments about has complained that they couldn't learn how to use the platform. It's quite easy. So other things you'll need, a PayPal account or an Alipay account, if you would like to keep your money. I, I would suggest some people as well, because of transfer fees, if you don't need the money right away, have a PayPal account and have them pay you into that PayPal account because there's no fees until you change it or move it or withdraw it. Then there's some fees involved. But if you're just going to leave it there as a little part-time thing for your holiday one day or whatever, just let them pay you in US dollars into your PayPal and leave it there. Uh, also, you'll need a quiet, well-lit home office or workspace. So you can work from your lounge as long as you know, the background is good and you don't have light shining into your camera in your bedroom. If you have a home, uh, home office, great but a dedicated area that you keep clean and that you can work from comfortably. Okay, so that's, that's the basics that you will need. Uh, Lita, Erasmus, don't worry about it. You're, no problem. So those are the basics you will need. You're going to need the TIFL course. You're going to need the uh, computer, the laptop, the smartphone. You're going to need an internet connection and a good one. Um, if you don't have one of those yet, a good internet connection, now is the time to start looking into upgrading because that would be the most important thing, because that's the first thing they're going to check in your interview as well. They will actually send you a link, say, click on this to do a speed test. And if it doesn't meet their requirements, really, uh, for them, there's no point in continuing. All right, so this is everything that we've covered now, and we can start now on part two. So this is everything that you can do and how it's going to do it, and here is how eTIFL Online can help you, and what can we do for you. So. We can help you get started teaching online quickly and earning the highest possibly possible hourly rate. With more than a decade of experience in the TEFL industry and our network of trusted recruitment partners and consultants like Rachel, we have pieced together everything you'll need to cre and created three custom packages designed to suit everybody's needs and budget. So we'll take you through the training. We'll help you prep your CV and your cover letter. Uh, Rachel will also help you with the introduction video. It's something we never talked about as well. Um, an introduction video needs to be made that you send off with your job application, normally about one to two minutes long. And uh, we can help you write that as well. Rachel will write a personalized script for you based on your specific needs. And then we can get straight into teaching. All right, so that you don't have to worry about all the other things. I'd like to just mention quickly, go over exactly what all the pieces are and where all these pieces come from. So the first one is our TEFL course provider. This is uh, iTEFL, all right? They were founded in 2002, and so far I've helped over 17,000 people get their TEFL certification. So they've got offices in Thailand, USA, UK, Australia, and South Africa. Your accreditation is, uh, your certification is completely accredited and internationally recognized across the world. We've helped many people with this accreditation also to get jobs in China. If you want to travel overseas, this is the same TEFL course. You can do it online and you can go work abroad or you can work online. All right, so we've got an established, long-term international company behind us with the TEFL courses. Uh, the second part that we work with is Digino. This their founder is Jason McCarthy. He is a teacher, he's a recruiter, and a coach as well for Dada ABC. I keep saying that Dada they now call it. that's their new name. He also provides the CV revision service exclusively for uh, eTEFL Online. If you take, for example, the professional package. He also provides the video course exclusively for eTEFN Online. Now, this video course that is provided in our packages is 
uh, a how to get hired as an online English teacher. All right. So you can, it's it's not interactive. It's just a video course that with three modules that you just work through and learn. It'll show you how to prepare a CV, how to prepare for your uh, interview process, and all kinds of things to help you get the job quickly and so that you get the best hourly rate possible. And then just Essel Resumes, which is Rachel's company. All right. Rachel and Chris work together on this, and they recruit. Yeah, Rachel, should I leave you to say this? Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> basically, um, we help people um, get jobs by writing them an ESL focused resume. So, a lot of people um, think that applying is just like applying for any other job, and they also think that because uh, you know, the recruiters are desperate for um, qualified teachers that they can just submit their resume and they'll get a job. And unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. Uh, we There's uh, key words that they're looking for. They're looking for specific skills. They're looking for uh, specific um, personality traits. And basically, what we do is uh, look at your resume, ask you some questions, and bring that all together so that you have a resume that is uh, going to get you a job. Uh, we write you a cover letter, and we also, as Jody said, do the um, the intro, video intro. So they're looking for to see how personable you are, to see what your accent is like, uh, and just they're not really. Um, judging you as a person. They just want to see what you're going to be like for their students. And we also do a practice interview uh, so that you can uh, get all the nerves out of the way and uh, get used to being in front of the camera. Uh, so that's that's basically what we do. Um, and you know, if you decided to write your own resume, uh, I'll just let you know that it should be a maximum of two pages. Um, we've received some that are, you know, 15 pages long, or um, don't have any skills, or they don't have what their job entailed. You know, it's it's really got to be uh, specific to the ESL um, industry, so that they know um, what what they're getting, basically. Yeah. Another thing I'd like to just add on to that as well is your uh, photo that you put. If you do include a photo with yes. that, please do. Uh, I've received email uh, CVs from people. The last one I can remember is a guy. His photo was of him with his sunglasses on, a selfie on the boat out in the ocean fishing. <laughs> and, uh, I was, yes. uh, that's why you're not getting a job because they're not hiring fishermen at the moment. That's right. right. So, and yeah. it's also that uh, Chinese, especially, can be or Japanese, even Koreans, can be quite conservative. So. You know, uh, even make sure your shoulders are covered. Don't wear a singlet top. Um, you know, make sure that you maybe take out your nose ring and do your hair and you know, simple things like that. It's even though it's an online job, it's still a professional job. It's you know, you can sit with your your jocks on, but you still have to have a maybe a t-shirt on top. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please be dressed for your classes. Um, <laughs> definitely. So yeah. Uh, a lot of this, this is a lot of things that the average person doesn't know. All right, and this is what we try and include in our services as well, so that while they may hire you with your current CV, they will start you on a lower wage because they they want to see that you can prove yourself. But if you've pre presented yourself as a professional through a CV and a cover letter and an introduction video, and through your interview you've sat there with a, a nice shirt on and a good background and projected yourself as a professional teacher. Then they will hire you at a at a higher rate. All right. So while there are other ways, there's many many ways to get hired as uh, online English teachers. I've found that this way is the best way to do it quickly and with the best possible hourly rate right from the beginning. Okay. I just want to give you an example of something like this. Um, I have a, a Facebook page, obviously, and a lot of people commenting there. And uh, so. I want to show you one of the comments that I got on that page. I did a TEFL course to teach English to foreigners. That was four years ago. Passed with merit and still have not done anything with it. They did not give me any program to follow when starting to teach someone of any level of English or anything else. For me, it was a total waste of time and money. And I've heard this from a few people online as well. All right, so people, four years this lady was uh, looking for online work. And because she just did a course, now I'm not saying I've got nothing against TEFL course providers, 
And I don't think it is their, their you know, job to get you a job. What their job is is to provide you with an education. But I think uh, when I saw that how many people online were talking about this, this is one of the motivations for ETF and online, is to get all of them the things together so that we don't have any more people like this that spend their hard-earned money on a devil course and work and get, you know, and completed with merit and are still not able to do anything with it. Probably because of their application process, their CV, uh, cover letters, and these kind of things. All right. So this is an actual feedback. This is a versus kind of a thing. That previous comment versus someone, uh, a client of mine, Megan Erasmus. So at first, she was very skeptical about teaching English online. But with the great help and service from ETF Online, she's now enjoying her teaching online, and it's all thanks to us. So the great service I received from the team at ETF Online was amazing, and within a few weeks, I had my certificate and my training was all done. Jody was there to answer all my crazy questions and help me every step of the way to get a job. I would definitely recommend you guys to anyone who is interested in teaching online. So this is Megan. Now, I know for a fact that Megan does not have a degree and did not have any teaching experience. And the last time I spoke to her, she was working for Panda ABC and earning $16 an hour. Yeah, we wrote Megan's uh, resume for her. Oh, yes, yes. We did, and uh, she was really happy with it, and she sent this great email back to us afterwards saying that, um, you know, she's working now um, and that it was, she felt prepared because of eTFL and that the resume sounded, make, made her sound amazing, and, uh, yeah, she's really enjoying working online now. Yeah. So... Um yeah, exactly that. That you can. I mean, you could very easily go out there and do this all by yourself, but it'll take you time and it'll take you money. Whereas with ETF and online, it's a one a one step process. Okay, well, a couple of steps, but much much easier. So let's have a look at what these uh, what the TEFL course includes. So this is the TEFL course in our standard online package. This is the first of our packages. Okay, so this in includes the internationally recognised online TEFL course, the accredited 120 hour certificate. It also includes a teaching young learners module. Now, this is very important, especially for the first timers that are going to start off teaching online, because no doubt they're going to assign you young learners as you want some of your first classes. When they say young learners, they mean between five and ten years old. There are, I mean, of course, there are companies that specialize only in adults, and others, and most of them specialize in, or they, they, they vary. They have young learners, teenagers, adults, whatever, business English, the works. So you also get a bonus teaching business English module with this course. You don't have to take it to get the 120-hour certificate. But if you have the time and the inclination, then definitely do it. And there's also a Cambridge TKT online course included in this. I have an asterisk next to that for a reason. So this course is going to prepare you to take the TKT Cambridge course. TKT stands for Teacher Knowledge Test. So it's a test administered by Cambridge to test you as the teacher, not a TEFL certificate or anything, but test you as person. Uh, to see if you have the skills required to be an online, well, an a English teacher, All right? So you will have to, and when the time comes, if you want to do the exam, you would have to pay Cambridge for the exam at their exam center, wherever you are in the world, okay? That is not included in the price, but the preparation course to take that exam is included. You will also get an online tutor for support and advice, which is, you, uh, you can't do without that. A lot of courses I've seen online that don't have this, don't even, don't even go there. Uh, teachers Resource Center with uh, membership, with links to useful websites and recruiters, done for you lesson plans to help get you started. And with this package, we'll also put in a DIY job application kit. So that's got links to you for you to go and find out how to write your own CV. So if you want to do everything yourself and you feel that you can, or maybe budget is an issue, then this is definitely the, the option for you. Plus, you will get referral program membership with 10% commissions. So this is what we've added to our courses. All our course packages, as it's a Referral program is, you know, this is the industry standard basically for all the schools. I figured we would offer it as well with ETF and online. And Marianne could see her. Uh, yeah, she, she, yeah, she has made back all her investment in ETF and online, I think. I've paid her back basically everything in commissions. So 10% commissions in this case means that if you refer someone and they buy one of our packages, whatever they pay, you will get 10% of that. All right, And we have a system for you to go through and everything. You can see all the people that have clicked and everything. So it's all above board and very transparent. Okay. Then the second option we can offer you is a professional online package. So this now includes everything in the previous package, All right, the TEFL course and that. In this case, we do the CV uh, resume re revision service for you. Now, this is performed by Digino, Jason at Digino. 
So he knows as well, He's a re he helps recruit people for Dada, so he knows what Dada is looking for, and most companies would want the same thing in their resume selection anyway. So he'll basically take your CV and just change a few things around, your current CV that is, and get it back to you within a day, all right? The, there's also a job application service in this part as well. We can go through our recruitment partners and they can help you find a job. Uh, bonus video course as well that I spoke about earlier that get hired as an online English teacher. So then you can watch that video course and prepare yourself for your interviews and your demo lessons and things like that. And of course, in the second level now, the referral program membership is now 20% commissions. All right, and then the third option, now this is the complete online. So this is everything in the previous packages. And on top of that, now we do the professionally written CV and cover letter service that Rachel will do for you. The job interview practice over Skype with professional feedback report, a personalized script for a two minute video introduction, one-on-one -on -one job support and guidance from all of us here, and referral program membership in this case now with 30% commissions. All right, so those are our three standard packages. Now I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about, so these packages are things that you can use if you want to work um, for a, an employer or if you want to work freelance. Also, if you want to run your own business, having a TEFL certification is going to help you, it's going to prepare you. But I've also some other packages here that I'd like to talk to you about if you are interested in running your own online business. And one of them is uh, TEOC, it's Teach English Online Course. So this is by Jack Askew. He ran, he's been an online English teacher for years and years and years. This isn't an eTEFL online product, but we work together. So uh, we've recently pr uh, partnered with him to promote this online course for those who would like to start their own online teaching business. So his course will show you how to set up your own online teaching business from scratch. So he's done it he successfully. He knows what he's talking about. So you'll learn how to get students, how to create a website, payment systems, how to create your own online courses, and tons more. That online courses part, that's definitely earlier when I spoke to you about running your own business and instead of talking about $10 or $20 an hour, you're talking about hundreds of dollars an hour. This is one of the ways that you get to there. You create, especially if you want to uh, specialize in a certain area of English, business English, or a medical, if you're a doctor, uh, medical English, or real estate English, or whatever English, and you create specific online courses, you pre-record them, and then you, they basically sell themselves from then on. And you never have to work on them again. So this is the kind of way that you get a passive income coming in. So they'll inc he'll include 45 video lessons in the main course, bonus tutorials, resources, worksheets. There's a forum where you can ask questions. It's lifetime access and updates. And there's a 30 day money back guarantee on that as well. If you are interested in starting your own online business, interested in looking into this package, then you can email me after this presentation and we can, I'll send you some information on that. Another option that has, is quite new actually, that which I find extremely exciting and I want to talk to you about this is the business license with eEnglish. So eEnglish offers you a complete turnkey online English teaching business platform, all right? So instead of the previous Jack Askew where he'll teach you how to do it, but in the end you have to go and do it, uh, eEnglish provides you with the platforms, the software, even the students, all right, to teach your, to do your own uh, online business from home, all right? So they provide you the software, the systems, they'll take care of the payment systems like credit card and PayPal payments from your students, train you on how to work with the software and even provide you with the students. So it's a complete package that includes everything you'll need to start your own business and start earning almost immediately. So you'll get the business platform, you'll get the training, the guaranteed supply of students, and you get to keep 80% of all the revenue that you make. So they'll take 20% for providing you with the software and providing you with the students. And an annual earnings of between 60,000 and even more, depending on how many hours you just choose to work uh, in, in, your, in your typical day, okay? So, if you'd like to more information about this as well, also the two business options will be for the end of the presentation. You can send me an email or I'll send you an email as well, okay? So uh, I just wanted to touch on the eTEFL online referral program. So working online allows you to have multiple streams of income. We've talk, spoken about that previously as well, not just looking at that hourly wage, right? So, but with eTEFL online as well now, our referral program, we'll provide you with the means to earn commissions by promoting our courses. Marianne is already in here promoting her courses. In the uh, in the comment section there, okay. So uh, the referral program is completely optional. It comes as standard with all the courses, but you don't have to participate if you don't want to. Okay. There's no selling of any kind. There's no phone calls. There's no emails. There's no extra cost to you. All right. So all you have to do is share a link to our sign up page, like the one you may have clicked on to you know to get here, and we'll take it from there. If your referral uh, invests in one of our packages, we pay you a commission or a referral fee of ten or twenty or thirty percent. 
So this gives you another. So while you're even doing your course, you have another form of income to fall back on before you even start teaching. And while you're teaching, you can have a secondary income as well. So you can have referrals from your company that you work for, the money that you're earning through your company, the money that you earn as bonuses, and the, the referral program from ETF and online as well. All right, so we're trying to introduce everybody to this working online, being a digital nomad, so to speak, uh, just to show you that there's so much potential here for, for income, all right? Okay, I've spoken to this. Uh, in summary, let's summarize this. So what are we going to offer you? So you get the fully accredited 120-hour online TIFL course, which is on our website, valued at $297. All right, just a quick rundown of what that included again, the, recognized, the internationally recognized course, the teaching young learners, the business English, the TKT, the online tutor support, the memberships, and all of that included, all right? Uh, if you go for the, uh, the complete online now, we will include the CV and the cover letter, the job interview practice, the introduction video script, all of that. You can go to Rachel's uh, website right now and look at it. The value of that package is $197. So at the moment, we're talking about $494 worth. All right, and then the third one we can put onto this package is the Teachers Resource Center, which I valued at 120 because most uh, resource centers or membership sites are around about $10 a month if you want to pay for them. So I'd say 12 months at 120 but this is lifetime. So on average, just for a year, would normally cost you $120. So we're talking about a value of about $614 now. Uh, referral program membership. So now, for example, if you sign up for the complete online, you earn 30% commissions, and the biggest commission you can make with 30% is $149.10 from just one referral. So that brings your value up, included in this package, to at least uh, $763.10 that we have put into one package for you. But of course, we're not going to charge you $763 for this. If you go to our website right now, you'll see that the complete online is only $497. The professional is $397, and the standard online is only $297. But because you were good and you waited until the end of the presentation, we're going to give you a coupon code to use now as well. So if the complete online will be almost $75 left because we're giving 15% discount with the code just sl 15 web for webinar. And you'll get the complete online then for 422, the professional for 337, and the standard for 252. And then we figured, well, that's not enough, is it? We're going to have to give you more stuff. So all of this is in conjunction now with the travel blog, travel everywhere, earn anywhere, which is another one of Rachel's side projects. Uh, so you can go to their website now as well, travel everywhere, earn anywhere .com. I've put a link. Yeah, Rachel's back. Yep, just going to say this is what it's all about. It's about uh, multiple streams of income, which you can do with the referral program with eTeeful. Yep. So I've put another link here in the chat box again. That's the previous link I did. You can go to her website there and read her blog series on, on is doing a TESOL certificate really that easy? If you don't know TESOL, TESOL, TEFL, it's the same thing. It just depends on where you are in the world. Okay? Some people call it one thing. Other people call it another thing. So this is a 15% of any course package plus automatic entry into the draw to win a full refund. Now, this is only until December 16th. We've been running this now for a long, long time, and it's finally coming to an end. Uh, which is Sunday night, all right, will be the last day that you could take advantage of this. So what we'll be doing, for anybody that's reading and following Rachel, uh, using this code when you purchase, you will get the 15% discount. And we're also having a draw where we are going to give three lucky people a complete refund on their purchase. We'll be giving, a, giving back the money for someone who, completed, who, uh, sorry, who purchased a complete online. We'll be refunding one professional online, and we'll be refunding one standard online package as well. But to enter the competition, you must use the coupon code just SL15 web. All right. And one more thing, just one more. We'll have a little giveaway while we're sitting here as well. If you're really serious about teaching English online and you want to make a career out of it, you're going to have to have the equipment. So we're doing a little giveaway now. For the first three people who sign up, we're going to give away one of these headsets. We gave the three away in the last webinar, and it was a huge success. So I decided, oh, well, we'll do it again this time. So this headset is a Logitech. It's USB-based. Very good one. It comes highly recommended by online English teachers who use this. And it's valued at either 45 pounds, no, sorry, $45, uh, 35 pounds, or around about 600 rand, depending on where you are in the world. 
and we will give away one of these to the first three people who make a purchase. In the last webinar, it was while I was still talking. We had already given away three much. Uh, Marianne, <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, Marianne was one of the ones, one of the winners, of course. Got, one, got it within a week. Yes. All right. So let's just do a little recap. The webinar offer, your $763.10 worth of uh, products and services included, the 15% discount, uh, and one entry to win a full refund, and the Logitech headset if you are quick enough to get one of them. All right, all you need to do is go here to etfonline.com. I will actually write it in here as well. So you can just click on it. There you go, you can click on that link. And you'll see a page like this. So you'll first see a video at the top. And if you scroll down just a wee bit, you'll see this. Uh, I've changed the colors since then. This is uh, now blue. Um, and you click on Apply Now below there, below the package of your choice. You'll be redirected to a page like this. On the top, it says, have a coupon. Click here to enter your code. You click on there. And you enter that coupon code. Let me just get it for you again. Just SL15 web. All right. So you click on that and you enter that coupon code in there and it will apply your discount and you'll be automatically entered into the draw for the refund. Your name, your details. Okay. On the at the bottom of that page, you will have a summary of your purchase and you can either choose PayPal or credit card or debit card. Fill in your details and click place order. And that's it. As soon as that payment is cleared, which is usually within one minute, you'll immediately be sent an email with your instructions, depending on which course package you've, you've uh, applied for, that will give you uh, all the details on how to begin. And you can get started right away. In that first email is a link for you to click on to create your online TEFL course uh, account, and you can start studying right away if you'd like. Okay? So that's the end of my presentation. I should have brought a glass of water. Yo, spoken so much. But thank you very much for joining me. And now we're going to have a, just a, a short Q&A session if anybody here would like to ask any questions. I know we covered a lot of stuff, but maybe there's something that you would still like to know. Ah, Claudia's off. Yes. <laughs> Cheers, Claudia. Listen, Claudia and anybody else who's already signed up, you, uh, if you've got any questions, you need any help, you just send me an email, all right? You're welcome, Isabel. You're welcome, Janine. Bridget, then send me an email. I'll put my email in here. It's jody at etevelonline.com. Oh, I'm shooting it to you in caps lock. Sorry. Jody at etevelonline. Yeah, that's it. My typing skills abandoned me there. Great, Rana. <laughs> Lindy, and to anybody else who's, who doesn't have the money as well, uh, we do have a payment plan option where we can break the payment plan, we will break, break the payment into three separate monthly payments if you'd like. Unfortunately, the payment plan is not compatible with any of the discounts or special offers. But it will help you. So for example, the standard online, which is usually $297, works out to $99 a month over three months. Yeah. Ray, can you put a link into, the, is there an article or a blog that you're reading where you're finding this information? You can put it here in the chat box as well, and then everybody can click on it and, and find out for themselves. Yeah, like I mentioned earlier, we've helped lots of people find jobs in actually physically teaching in China, and to get a Chinese Z visa, to which is the work visa, is very, very 
difficult and they're very strict. So uh, if our TEFL course certification is <laughs> is accepted by the Chinese uh, immigration authorities, then it is accepted worldwide, yes. If people are um, going to work in China, some places, or Thailand, where a, um, a uni degree is required for a teacher, sometimes uh, they get around it by calling you a tutor rather than a teacher, and it's the same as online as well. So um, you'd be considered a tutor rather than an actual teacher. So just something to consider. Thanks, Bridget. Merry Christmas to, to you too. All right, is there anybody else there that has any other questions? All right, people, We've got some questions typing over there. Just remember that this, uh, this offer and all these bonuses are only available until Sunday night. And only with the, the coupon code just SL15WEB. Ah, and we got a video as well. Thank you, Ray. All right, I've clicked on that. I'll watch it later. Yeah, we're going to have to wait until the new year as well to get the full picture. I've heard so many co uh, contradiction stories. and So I think in the new year, it'll be pretty clear. And in the new year as well, in a couple of weeks, we'll be starting with the, uh, the recruitment drive by most of the companies. They're still hiring right now, but it's a bit of a low point for hiring, which is great because it gives you plenty of time now to get qualified, to focus on your course. And then beginning of January, mid-January, we'll be, they'll be starting to push again. Because it's strange, as you might think of it, though, that uh, during the school holidays in China is when they need the most teachers, not fewer, because the kids are at home then on holiday, especially over the summer holidays. And uh, the parents are like, well, you're not going to do anything. Yeah, Rona, let me go check that for you, okay? Okay, I just changed some dates around. Maybe it was an issue with the date. Rona, try again now. Cheers, Lenore. And yeah, Merry Christmas to everybody too. Ah, okay, it's working. Well, bye bye, Marianne. Thank you for joining.
You're welcome, Ray, and thank you for all the information. I'll definitely have a look at that video you sent. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's what I do, Rachel. That's what I do. Well, um, I think that's everything then. All right. Nobody more, no more questions? Okay, great. Well then, if there's anybody still listening, thank you very much for joining us. Taking the, the time out of your day. And thank you, Rachel, for joining us. And I think we'll call it a day today then. All right. Good night, everybody. Oh, but before we go, we have our first winner. Rona, it's just come through. Rona, congratulations, you've won yourself a Logitech a USB headset. So for those who are still around listening, there's only two more left and only until Sunday for you to sign up. Good luck to everybody and we'll chat soon. <laughs>